So I have great news. We're all doomed to die slow, horrible deaths while bacteria resistant to all forms of antibiotics eat us from the inside out. Uh, that doesn't sound like good news. A mutation discovered in people and livestock in China has been found to make bacteria resistant to all antibiotics, including last resort drugs. Meat from China has been exported all throughout Europe and we already have cases of MCR1 infected humans in Denmark. So if having only one form of deadly antibiotic resistant bacteria wasn't enough, Enough, imagine having nearly all forms of bacteria carrying this gene. I'm sure you meat-eating idiots watching this are just going to say, we'll stop feeding antibiotics to livestock, simple. On some domestic violence blowing up on Facey and Instagram. Check out my latest Instagram or my Facebook pages, fan page, private page, it's blowing up. Like there's two types of people in life. Those who fucking wait for shit to happen to them and those that stand up and make shit fucking happen getting it fucking done. And it's just a choice in the fucking moment. I used to be a victim. Anger is a much more empowering thing than anxiety or sadness or depression. So my goal is to get people angry straight a fucking way. All right, someone has a bike crash or whatever and they're hurting pain. I might say something like, oh, just fucking harden up, you pussy. And they're like, fuck you. Now they're angry. This cunt just fucking hit her. And none of these fucks are, are, are t posting his picture on their page. None of them. I spent an hour this morning just, just a bit of social media analyst stalking and none of these fucks they're all bashing me but this guy's just gotten scot free Aussie cops. so it's it's uh you just got to get out man and these dumb fucks on my instagram page well do not i'm a professional counselor and you can't just get up and leave because the, the chances are they're going to find you and kill you hey this is angie and i'm ryan and we are happy healthy, healthy vegan, vegan. This is something you hear often in the news media, even other vegan YouTube channels, which I won't mention, who claim that that um, eating like organic food or food that's grown properly is too expensive. It's out of reach for most people. Oh, so only therefore, wealthy people yeah, only wealthy people for it. Therefore, you have to eat really crappy, poorly grown food. So here we are at our local Sunday farmers market to investigate firsthand how over expensive and indulgent non-GMO foods really are. I would say this is actually a pretty random. You know what this is? You know, yeah, if you can't afford two dollars and fifty cents for a bag of spinach, my grapefruit, tasty avocados, two Amaz bucks amazing each. California Temple. avocados, Temple. lemons. Oh, the only thing we can't afford right now. Six dollars, guys. One, two. I'm gonna make it rain on these strawberries. I'm sick. When we were young. When we were, okay, I know a lot of you guys are like 18 to 25 or whatever watching the show. When we were young, yeah, we ate a Taco Bell, but you know, at a certain point, <laughs> it kind of loses its luster. <laughs> I've definitely figured out the bucket toilet. It's actually super easy and really does not smell at all. I'm so impressed. And we actually have some people renting downstairs um, for a few days, and they're coming in today. So, and it just rained, and it's pretty muddy because we've been doing like construction and stuff down there. It kills me to have to do this. I'm gonna try and use as little as I possibly can. It's hard to fill and mop, so we'll see what happens. I forgot to check the time when I first got up, so probably around 6.30. Oh, my feet are really tender this morning. Ouch. I was supposed to be doing a running race this morning, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm choosing not to. I'm pretty sore, not quite as sore as yesterday, but the camera holding the camera is still pretty heavy and my legs are pretty sore. I'm actually gonna try and use some compression socks after the walk, see if that can help. We've got a very busy day. So to do the running race and not feel very well um, just isn't really something I'm up for today. Your life, you're gonna own nothing. You own three things, okay? You own your fitness, you own your thoughts and emotions. And the rule is, is that every single day you have to continue moving on. You can't stay in the same place mm -hmm. or the same, um, you know, maybe not city, but the same area. Yeah. You know, more than so you have to. You can't find someone like, hey, you can stay at my house for three months. Oh, yeah. great, cool. Like that de defeat the purpose. One hundred percent. So you have to continually to move on every single uh, day. Yeah. You can't get comfortable, and 
Uh, the second rule is is that you're not allowed to sleep inside. Okay. Like, oh, I, she owned my thoughts the way I thought about everything. Bro, I'd probably, I'd probably have an engineer degree, engineering degree by now. I'd probably own a fucking house or something. And like all these things on paper that would have made me, you know. And, and you wouldn't be doing what you're doing now. No you way, are, bro. No way. You are changing lives. You're affecting lives. Yeah. That's why I'm on no, the show right now. Yeah. You're doing something so much bigger. Hey guys, so today I'm just going to show you three really, really easy Christmas treats to make. Um, they're actually perfect if you're having like a girl's night or you want to give somebody some kind of food for Christmas. Great for taking along to Christmas dinner for dessert. They're super tasty, super chocolatey and super Christmassy. So let's get started. Hey guys, so for the first recipe I made my favourite chocolate smoothie ever. Um, so we had lots of really, really sporty ripe bananas and then some coconut sugar, some raw cacao powder. And I also put in some of the My Protein chocolate protein powder, but that is optional. Um, but this is my attempt to at cutting out a gingerbread man. Uh, it wasn't the best attempt to be perfectly honest because the mixture is quite sticky. But you can keep these raw or you can put them in the oven and bake them for around 8 to 10 minutes just to make them cookie like. Before any of this happened, we were huge fans of his yeah. back in high school. We've all seen a jackass video or two. He recently just got sentenced to 30 days in jail for his uh, demonstration against SeaWorld. I'm Steve-O, and I just want everybody to know that I'm 100% vegan. Uh, they will claim that, they, that uh, they didn't know if Steve-O was a jumper or not, but I mean, with a little bit of under... Un Undercover, they could have went to his Facebook page or his YouTube page because he said he he um, was gonna do all of this, so it kind of seems kind of needless and kind of kind of blowing it way bigger than it needs to. Be. Uh, die geschrieben hat Oz, du isst auch Nüsse. Ich dachte Nüsse sind bei High Carb ein Tabu. Da isst man keine Nüsse. Und das muss ich noch mal ganz klar sagen. Es heißt High Carb Low Fat, nicht High Carb No. Fett. Denn auch Kartoffeln, Bananen, Gemüse haben Fette. Ja? Das ist nur nicht, sind nur nicht sonnige, solche Fette, die man vielleicht unter einer Avocado, unter einer Nuss versteht. Ja? Im Wachstum kann man mehr Fett gebrauchen und auch gut verwerten. Und ansonsten, vielleicht nochmal zur Erinnerung, sind 10% ungefähr der, der Wert, wo ihr dann mehr als äh, gedeckt seid.